So in this video, we're just going to do a quick start on Omniverse Fire. Now, for those of you who go create particles and there is no presets, aha, go to Window, Browser, Flow, Presets, put a tick there. Now you've got your presets. Oh my goodness. First up, if we add our fire in there and press play, we can see that we've got our fire over there. However, I can't move the thing. So what I can do is I can go right click, we can go create and an X form, which for those of you who are from Blender will be an empty. I will now select our four flows, click and drag them into the empty. And now we can move this around. Sick. For now, I'm gonna expand that empty. Let's go into the flow emitter sphere. And if we want the fire to be bigger, we come down to the radius on the emitter sphere and we go, let's say 50. <laughs> Definitely, we will be doing some more in-depth things around this to make it look a little bit better, especially when we want larger scale stuff. But I mean, you can see that we're rendering this live. So it's, it, it's pretty suave. However, let's talk about collisions. So from doing research, they are still working on collisions. However, we can semi get started with stuff. Let's come down into the flow emitter sphere, sorry, the flow simulate, and then physics collision enabled, we'll turn that on. Now I'm gonna go right click, create, and let's just go into a cube. Good old default cube. Let's just give it a little bit of pizzazzle. There we go. <laughs> just so it's kind of sitting in the fire. Um, and you can see that the fire is actually going through it at the moment. However, with the cube selected, we can click add physics and we want a collider. Now, if we scroll down to the bottom, we'll see the physics and the collider presets, the approximation. Let's change that to con convex hull. I can speak. And now we should hopefully be wrapping that around. You're meant to be buddy. All my tests, you were doing this. I mean, you can see that it's not going through the mesh. Let's maybe just move it down and see what it does. Now, I think this comes down to the radius of our ball. So let's go back and change that from 50 down to 10. And you can see now how that fire is slapping up against the cube. And we'll just make it kind of a wrap around there. Next thing, if we want to do, we can come into off screen and go to the color map. And here we can change the colors of our fire. So let's click on the red and I'm going to go green. And for those of you who love watching Acquisition Inc by Chris Perkins, we can create a green flame. Now, one last thing, if we are in a dark world, so let's go ahead and change the environment to something a little bit darker. I don't know, whatever that is. So once we've got this dark background, we can go down to flow and we can enable bloom just to give it a little bit more pizzazzle. Obviously we don't really see it here because of that. <laughs> but there we have it, a really quick intro into Omniverse Fire. I was really hoping to have this working for the Lich, but oh well. I've already started writing the second short film for Omniverse, so make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see a preview, it'll probably be on Patreon soon.